the ninth standard in French. So today I will be doing with you Anthrager. You have a book called Anthrager. Open your book to lesson number one. Okay? Now as you see, the lesson is in the form of a letter. Last year we saw how to write notes, short notes. Here you will see how letters are written. As usual, I will read the lesson to you first and then you have to try and understand. After two readings, I will explain it to you. So let's start. La famille. Paris, le 27 ans. Mes chers papa et maman, comment allez-vous? Ici, mes études se passent bien. Je dois passer plus de deux heures et demie chaque jour à faire mes devoirs. Je te dis sérieusement. Again, I'm reading. Try and understand what it means. The letter on I'll explain. Mes chers papa et maman, comment allez-vous? Ici, mes études se passent bien. Je dois passer plus de deux heures et demie chaque jour à faire mes devoirs. Je te dis sérieusement. So, you have guessed right. Who are they writing to? The letter is written from Paris. The date is 20th September. Who is it addressed to? What is Papa et Mama? Parents. Mes chers Papa et Mama. Comment allez-vous? How are you? Ici. Here. My studies are going on well. Ça passe is to go on. Je dois passer. Doa is a new verb for you. Doa. Must. I must spend. Passe is to spend. Plus de deux heures, more than two hours, a demi, two and a half hours, they means half. So, I have to spend, I must spend more than two and a half hours. Chaque jour, that is every day, to do my homework. Je te dis sérieusement, I'm studying seriously. Now the next part. Depuis la semaine dernière, j'habite dans une famille française. C'est la famille de mon meilleur ami, Alain. Son père est professeur de mathématiques à l'université et sa mère est avocat. Alain a un frère aîné et une soeur cadette. So I'll stop here. Again, I'm reading these lines again. Try to guess. Depuis la semaine dernière, J'habite dans une famille française. C'est la famille de mon meilleur ami Alain. Son père est professeur de mathématiques à l'université. Et sa mère est avocat. Alain a un frère aîné et une soeur cadette. Depuis la semaine dernière. What is the semaine dernière? Last week. So since last week, J'habite dans une famille française. I'm living with a French family. C'est la famille de mon meilleur ami Alain. It's the family of my best friend. What is the name of his friend? Alain. Son père est professeur de mathématiques à l'université. So his father is a teacher or professor of mathematics at the university. Is a Mary Avoca and his mother is a lawyer. I wrote it. Alain a un frère aîné. What is aîné? Elder. So he has an elder brother. Aîné is elder. A young sir cadet. And a younger sister. So you have learned two new words. Aîné is elder and cadet is younger. Je partage la chambre d'Alain. Il a une chambre assez grande, à deux lits. Il a une chaîne stéréo et des disques anglais et français. So, je partage la chambre d'Alain. 
il a une chambre assez grande à deux lits. Il a une chaîne stéréo et des disques anglais et français. Partager is to share. It's a G-E-R word, like moji. I'm sharing Alan's room. He has a room big enough with two beds. I say is enough. Quite big, that is. With two beds. Other limits with two beds. Il a une chaîne stéréo. He has a stereo system. Et des disques anglais et français. And some English and French discs. CDs. Je suis content d'être avec une famille française. La mère d'Alain prépare de bons repas français. Tout sont si gentils. Je suis content d'être avec une famille française. La mère d'Alain prépare de bons repas français. Tout sont si gentils. Je suis content means I'm happy. I'm happy to be with the French family. La mère d'Alain, Alain's mother, prepares good French meals. Tout sont si gentils. All are very kind. Gentil is kind. Le week-end prochain, je vais à la campagne avec Allah et sa famille chez ses grands-parents qui ont une grande maison. Le week-end prochain, je vais à la campagne avec Allah et sa famille chez ses grands-parents qui ont une grande maison. Now, just like dernier, dernier is last week. Le weekend prochain is next weekend. Weekend is weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to the countryside. Campagne means countryside. With Alan and his family. To his grandparents' house. She is a grandpa means to his grandparents' house. Qui ont une grande maison? Who have a big house? Son oncle et sa tante habitent avec ses grands-parents. Nous nous amusons avec ses cousins. Son oncle et sa tante habitent avec ses grands-parents. His uncle and his aunt. You have already come across these relations, okay? Uncle means uncle, aunt means aunt. Habite avec ses grands-parents. Live with his grandparents. Nous nous amusons. S'amuser is to enjoy yourself. It's a reflexive word. So, nous nous amusons avec ses cousins. Means we enjoy, we are enjoying ourselves with his cousins. Allons dit que c'est une petite ville pleine de charme. Avec de belles promenades. Allah dit que c'est une petite ville pleine de charme avec deux belles promenades. Alan said, says que it's a small town full of charm. Plan means full. Now, will is feminine, so plan has got an E. With some good promenade is a long pathway lined with trees where you can take a walk avec de belles promenades okay with some beautiful pathway répondez moi oui j'entends votre lettre avec impatience répondez moi oui j'entends votre lettre avec impatience reply to me quickly with this quickly J'attends, I'm waiting for your letter with impatience. Now we have seen how he has ended the letter. The salutation. Je vous embrasse tendrement. I embrace you tenderly. Jean. What is the name of the person writing? Jean. Who is it addressed to? His parents. So you have seen the format of a letter. 
So go over the format of the letter, see where the date is written, see how we begin the letter and how we end the letter. Now you will have to read the letter and answer the questions which are given underneath. So this is like your comprehension. Okay, now we'll do a little grammar session. So you already know that nouns exist in singular as well as plural. How do you make a noun plural? You add an S to it. But there are certain nouns which already end in S or X or Z. Now those nouns remain the same. For example, Libra. Libra means the arm. It becomes Libra, the arms. So S remains as there is no additional S. Similarly with La Croix. Croix means cross. Cross. Now it's ending in X, so it remains the same. Le Croix. Le Ne. Ne is nose. Ending in Z remains the same. Le Ne. So you know the rule for making nouns plural. Nouns which are already ending in S, X, Z remain the same. They don't take addition S. <coughs> now we go to rule number 2. There are certain nouns which end either in EAU or EU. For example, Le Bateau, the ship. Le Bateau, it takes an X. Instead of S, you add a X to make it plural. Same thing with Le Cheveau. The hair, le cheveux, takes a X, not an S. So, now switch end in EAU or EU, take a X. This is rule number two. Rule number three, there are certain nouns which end in OU. So, for example, le genou, the knee, part of your body. Le genou, this also takes a X. Le bijou, the jewel. Le bijou with a X. So nouns ending in OU take a X also, like these nouns. But there are exceptions to the third rule. These nouns are also ending in U, but they don't take a X, they take a S. They take a S. So le who is the neck, and to make it Plural, you make it clues. Lay clues. Coo, sorry. Coos. And lay clues. Clue is a nail. Which you have on in the wall. Lay clues. Lay clues. Through is a hole. So these three nouns are exceptions to the third rule. They don't take an X, they take a S. So write down those exceptions to the rule and memorize them. So now we know how to make nouns plural. Normally, generally, we add a S to the noun. For example, le garçon, le garçon, with a S. La fille, le fille, with a S. But these three rules you should know. Nouns are in S, X, Z. Nouns ending in EAU or EU and nouns ending in OU. Okay, now we will proceed to the next rule. Now, in the next rule, we will see nouns which end in AL. For example, journal. Journal is a newspaper. Now, journal becomes de journal. AUX. AL changes to AUX. A signal, a signal, changes to desino with an AUX. So, nouns which end in AL take AUX. But this rule has exceptions. Which are the exceptions? A ball. Takes a S, not an AUX. A ball becomes de ball with a S. A carnaval becomes de carnaval with a S. Learn the exceptions, they are very important. Now the fifth rule. Nouns ending in AIL. 
For example, on travail. What is a travail? Work. On travail becomes de travo. Events again. On vitrai. Vitrai is a stained glass window which is there for churches and all. It becomes de vitro. The events. This rule do has exceptions. Which are the exceptions? A rail. Rail is rail of the railway. A shondai is a sweater. These two take S, not a rail So when you are learning the rules, you have to learn the exceptions too. They are very very important thing. Okay? So learn the rules of making nouns plural. Normally, a noun generally takes a S when it's in plural form. But you have seen rule number one, nouns ending in S, X, Z. Rule number two, nouns ending in E, A, U. And rule number three, nouns ending in O, U. Rule number four, nouns ending in A, L. Rule number five, nouns ending in A, R, L. So please learn these properly, the rules. Now I am going to refresh your memory. I have taught you imperfect tense in one of my last lessons. Now we will see how to convert a present tense sentence into an imperfect tense sentence. Je porte une robe rouge chaque lundi. What does that mean? I wear a red dress every Monday. I wear a red dress every Monday. That means I am talking of my habit. So, what does this mean? Je porte une robe rouge chaque lundi. I used to wear. So, amparte is used when you show habit. Je porte une robe rouge chaque lundi. So, porte becomes porte in past tense when you are talking of your habit. How do you form the imperfect? You cut up the awareness in your no form and AIS, AIS, AIT. So, je porte in rob rouge, chaque lundi. When do you use imperfect? When the action is continuous in the past or if you are talking about a habit. Here, when I say chaque lundi every Monday, it speaks about my habit. And this is my habit in the past tense. Now, same thing. Le buffon de l'eau chaud le matin means we drink warm water, hot water in the morning. It's my habit. But the same habit, if I was following in the past tense, I will be using imperfect tense. Le buffon de l'eau chaud le matin. So, how did I convert the present tense to imperfect? I cut off this ONS and added IONS in the new form. So you know your endings of the imperfect, they were taught to you. Cut off the ONS in the present tense of new form, add AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IZ, AIE, NT. So I will be giving you some exercises based on this rule. Keep this in mind. How you speak about a habit in the past? You use the imperfect. So that's all for today.